Yes, I've done all my family research. We go back in the same place about a thousand years. Did Cliff Hanley write these are my mountains, Scotty? David, I think you're correct. I think Cliff did. And I'll tell you who I remember singing it, the Alexander Brothers. Wonderful. There we are. Just wondering, has McBrain's anything to do with Caledonia McBrain's finish? Anthony Mack, my goodness me, what a question. Yes. David Hutchison in the 1860s um, ran steamers on the River Clyde. Now, I think it was his nephew, was David McBrain who died in 1908. And David McBrain was McBrain's who had the Royal Mail contracts for the west of Scotland and used to run steamships and motor ships. And then the company was reconstituted in 1928 and became David McBrain 1928 Limited. And then I think it was something, somebody will need to correct me here, around 1969, 1970, 71, it became Caledonia McBrain because on the lower west coast, if you like, rather than Highland, west coast, was the Caledonian steam packet. So when I was wee, you had yellow funneled steamers of the Caledonian Steam Packet Company, the CSP. And you had red-funneled steamers of David McBrain Limited, who ran the Royal Mail Service. Fantastic. And the two amalgamated to make Caledonian McBrain. So there you are, fantastic stuff. The Caledonian Steam Company, the Caledonian Steam Packet Company, the CSP. And they'd taken over ships that were owned by companies like the London and North Eastern Railway Company, the London, Midland and Scottish Company, the um, Glasgow and South Western Railway, who were the original ones, I think. They ran from Princess Pier in Greenock. And they were the original ones that called all their ships after characters from Sir Walter Scott's Waverley novels. So you had the Waverley 